Ooh, what's up guys? Of course, welcome to another video from me, the Scarander. And today we're going to do something different. And it is because of the internet. I am not getting a new internet. That means I can make the file much smaller. That means I can't do the fix I want to do. And I also want to thank Eric, um, or Espel Ashton, who is actually an excellent pocket super and actually the lead in the Delta division. I'm, of course, in Syria. Sida, Seda, I don't know. And anyway, he's in the lead there. I'm going to link his channel down below. He's a very, very good player. Make sure to check him out. He's one of those guys who has uh, Bidoof as his mascot in the league. So I actually did free commentaries about his uh, his team matches. And it was inc it was actually really cool watching them. So I do encourage you guys to actually watch that. Uh, anyway, look at my opponent's team here. I predicted all wrong. Like, a whole lot wrong. I got right by Asamariel, Charizard, and yeah, I think I got, uh, yeah, I got Avalog right. Um, Milotic, I did mention it in my video. I did not predict for it. I did not design this team for it, and that's an issue. Uh, we have Gudra here. Did not see that one coming. Um, can't deal with it, really. I can't. It's, it's too tough. And Rose Raid. Did not see Rose Raid. Hell, I'll even go so far and say, how? How did I not see Rose Raid coming? Well, anyway, uh, I decided to go with, um, like I said, my team preview there with... Um, actually, my lead is actually going to be Mega Garchomp, Chansey, um, Dianchi, Keldeo, Stealth, and Hippowdon. And uh, I basically, I need to, you know, void damage as much as I can. And I mean, I'm going to settle for that throughout this match. And it's going to really, really showcase. This is a battle of the bulk. Uh, he brought a lot of Pokemon that are naturally bulky. He also brought Pokemon that can hit me hard. But the Gudra, Malodic, Avalog, Supreme Waltz really can really, really take a lot of damage. And uh, I have Dianchi and Chansey, which are my walls. And he powered them, of course, to some extent, but it can't deal with these walls or these attackers, so it's not a helpful wall. And like I said, Azaxus, my Mega Guard Chomp, is uh, more intuitive with being sweeping. So anyway, with all these my guys, let's go. Like I said, sorry about like all the um, no designs or anything like that. This is going to be one narration only. I'm going to hope for the best here, not do any retakes. So anyway, I'm going to start with Azaxus, like I said, and he's going to start with Roast Rage. Um, Timid Rose Raid outspeeds my Mega Garchomp or a Garchomp with two, two base speed. Yes, so I lose my Mega Garchomp like right here, right here, and then I was, I won't say surprised, but I was really sure I was gonna Oko this guy. I was really sure. Um, so that's really bad. I was thinking, is it scarfed? But did check it out afterwards. It actually outspeed, and I'm an idiot, but going for adamant. That was a bad, bad move. And of course, I did predict something like Shards would come in here. So I decided to go for a fun way with the blob. And I have Toxic too. Basically, my main idea here was to, to some extent, wall out all the threats. Like, be able to find footing around them. And... Uh, I think it was fairy potential stealth rocks, and uh, even so, I even believe that he could think that he could self against me, and um, that T of course, really, really suck because that puts his Charizard at a massive disadvantage. Now, he will go for um, Dragon Dance here, which I thought was weird, actually, since he has no reason of actually gaining for that, but you know, we just have to wait it out. So anyway, I have no reason to not go for an EQ. Uh, I basically wanted to take the damage that he will, could provide to me and then let the recall kill him with the Flare Blitz. He does not do that. He's fully paralyzed, of course, going afterwards. And after I saw the potential stone da or sand damage, I decided to actually go for Stealth Frost, thinking he has still Avalog. Uh, I need to get residual damage going. And he went for another Dragon Dance. And I was thinking here... That he probably did that, like, as a foddering move. That That is what I'm feeling here. And uh, something that's going to be a bit weird here is he goes first. The next turn here is going to be fully paralyzed. We're, I mean, it could be in a speed tie, I guess. 
and um, I or he actually outspeed even with a para, which is mighty mighty impressive. And I'm lucky here to not get my pout on hurt real bad. So here's a Milotic, and um, there is not a whole lot I can do to a Milotic. Milotic, of course, is naturally bulky, like it's super, super, super thick. And um, I could try to hurt it head on, I could, but there is no reason for me of trying to do so. And we're basically in a position here where we both going to go for a toxic against one another. The sandstorm does subside, which is uh, super, super, super important because let's face it, sandstorm is just the residual damage is not helping any one of us, and it's really good to have that out of the way. And yeah, he's gonna go for skull here. Obviously, it's not gonna do a whole lot, and we're definitely in a position. I can actually just um, hope here. We'll be basically stalling out one another. And um, there is nothing happening. He's scalding. I'm soft boiling. It's it's um just a general a very very sad time to be a wall, and we're basically gonna kill each other by time alone. But I do go for a thunder wave here, and then I don't go for a seismic toss because I was thinking that he would switch out. That is not what's going on fruition. Now the toxic doesn't do a whole lot of him, and the toxic will actually packs up on me. So, I do believe that he will switch out here, and I thought I did the same. I think I went to Keldeo here while he went for Nasumaril, and here I was thinking, like, he could set up against me here. I'm glad I switched out. I'm really glad, and at this time, I was thinking, if he is Assault Vested and will play rough, then it's over. He's gonna do massive damage to me, uh, but he will showcase the Substitute. And that is so unfortunate, because a player off would have killed the Keldeo, no doubt about that, really. Um, he did go for the, I think, he was hoping that my, I couldn't do enough damage to break through, and then he could just go for uh, hits, really. But that did not happen, super important for me, of course. Actually, really important for me that that was exactly what happened. So anyway... He's going to go to this Gudra. I was thinking, Danchi, you are probably the mine number one guy for this. And of course, Danchi is. I'm so glad I actually picked this Pokemon. Uh, its typing is really, really bad, but it is a fair typing and it uh, actually thrives in the sand. So I am really glad I got this one. And he went for, of course, a Draco and missed because Elra was obviously immune to that. Same way, here's the Milotic again. And I'm going to go for a Diamond Storm. And like I said, I'm fully, massively heavy attackable to kill a Charizard X. And that does so much damage to the Malotic. Like, there is a lot of damage where that come from. And I decided to actually stay in here and um, try to kill him, really. I was thinking that he would go for a Scald. Uh, but no, he goes for cover. That's fine. Um, sadly, Malotic is actually fairly fast. So it will naturally outspeed me and... Um, while I do damage on it, like fair damage, it's still like not on par. Like with leftovers, he actually recovering bit by bit. He can stall me out, and I was predicting here that he's most likely gonna go for a skull, and I might actually try to bait him to doing so, and hoping that Chansey can live the onslaught. But um, as you guys will see here, um, he will survive the toxic. Which, of course, is awful, and he will score the burn first turn, which is also awful. So we are in the same position again, where Milotic and Chansey are stalling out one another. And I'm gonna just jump here, because that is exactly what happened. There are seismic tosses, there are burns, residual damage. Finally, I do believe that Milotic will die. Uh, I do believe it will. <laughs> so anyway, now it's somewhat in a bad position. I'll, of course, go for softball here and then, because I don't want the Evil Light to be able to Oko me. And I think we're finally here. Um, let's see. I go for another soft boil. I do believe that uh, he, yeah, I went for mirror coat. Um, I think he just wanted to showcase that. You know, all right, I get it. I, I give up. Like the toxic's gonna get me. I get it. Um, my water can't do anything. Chancy or it's a matchup it will lose against. Is what I'm trying to say. So he's gonna showcase the roast raid and try to do as much damage as possible. Like I said, I was really, really thinking that he would bring the Avalog, which is not close of killing me anyway. And uh, 
this sludge bomb will do pretty much nothing. Pretty much nothing. And uh, the seismic toss is actually not too area for two hit kill. And um, Rudy Aero Green's Crafty will actually forfeit after that hit. And you know, I get him. I basically won what I could call is the stall out, and uh, uh, that is basically the game. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, really here, it was a battle of the walls, and I think I I got a few predictions right. Uh, I didn't let Asmeril rip my team. Charizard came in very early, got the Thunder Wave. That was important, of course. And besides that, the other Pokemon wasn't really a threat to my team in general. So, I never really had to use Stoutland, I didn't really have to use Tianchi, and I didn't really use, had to use Helio. Chansey did all the work, and that is terrible. I hate Chansey so much. But um, that was actually, a, you know, I, I win 5-0, I guess, and Chansey actually get the rest of the kills that were Pokemon that were left, which means that Chansey is now... It, it killed more Pokemon than Stoutlands, and that is... Um, <laughs> that is unfortunate. Um, but yeah, Rudy, really, GG man, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, I don't like to play like this, I, I really do, uh, but it was a serious match, and I think I gotta get a bit carried away, and I really needed to win this match, that means that I'm basically, I'm secure now for the playoffs because of that, and that is awesome, now, I will go against the champ next week, and I'm feeling a bit uneasy about that, but hey, <laughs> you know what, what the hell, it's just a game, let's actually do, make the best out of it, so anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching, I hope you enjoyed this match, and if you do, make sure to leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to, don't forget to subscribe, and remember, the sky's the limit, I'll see you guys next time, hopefully on Friday, where I can actually use my internet for real, so, like I said, sorry about this quality, I hope you enjoyed this video anyway, and I'll see you guys next time, until then, take care, bye! Yeah, then it's all about shutting this down. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys.